Hi there. The Geary trap in the Philidor defence was from Anish Geary's game with the Black Pieces against Wang Hao in 2013. White is allowed to go for a promising sack, but Black comes out objectively better. Still, at the end of the day, Anish Giri went on to lose against the talented Chinese GM. After d4 and d6, we're going to enter the Philidor by a different sequence of moves. e4 and then knight f6. Knight c3 defends the pawn and now e5. So in this position, white didn't go for exchanging uh, pawns in the center and maybe swapping queens. But choose, chose a knight to f3. After knight bd7 and bishop to c4. Here um, black unleashes uh, the, the trappy idea or to, tries to tempt white into going for the sacrifice. First e takes on d4. White can take with the knight or with the queen. And Wang Hao takes with the queen. Queen takes on d4. Now bishop e7. And white is certainly tempted to go for the bishop takes f7 uh, sacrifice because then the hole on e6 is going to be very inviting for the knight to enter via g5. So after bishop takes on f7, Wang went for this and king takes f7. The knight indeed jumped to g5 check. The king's going to move and the knight's going to head for e6. But where does the king move to? Well, Giri actually brought the king back to e8. That's actually the best move. Allows the queen to get smothered by knight e6, but black had taken this into consideration by now being able to play c5, which hits the white queen, white's queen in turn and allows uh, the black queen to exit via the d8 a5 diagonal. So when white played queen d1, queen b6, and while black certainly is not winning, black certainly is uh, at least equal in this position. So this is known as the Giri trap in the Philidor from his game against Wang Hao in 2013. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.